Today's comment is from Carolyn Steven 5135 Hey, with all due respect, sorry for the concussion. I didn't get a concussion yet, but I will after I fall on these stairs. And all, but how do you create a character's intro for a form from a f for a from a video? I recently downloaded this video, which is the Johnny Bravo intro video. Um, this person wants to start a video series of Johnny Bravo versus all of the Third Strike characters, which is cool. You know that's what Mugen's about. But I may have had my concussion, and. I may have misunderstood the assignment with this one. I thought originally they were asking how to turn um, a video from YouTube or wherever into a video to play in Mugen. And I misunderstood that, I think. Um, and I made it an intro. So today's tutorial is going to be how to get video from somewhere internet or anywhere on the computer and convert it to play in Mugen. In this case I used Johnny Bravo's intro and uh, try to time it up and loop it up to uh, match the audio from Johnny Bravo's intro. The results came out great and the process is kind of messy but try to follow along. So uh, first we need an app called screen to gif or GIF, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I got the um, the portable version of this app, but I, I you can I think it's free. I'm not sure. But what this does is it lets you record anywhere on your screen, and it will let you make a GIF out of it. So that's something that's cool. Uh, now we're gonna go to the internet. This is the video. I don't know if I'll get flagged for this uh, music. But I'm just gonna play it anyways. One, two, three, go. Baby. Okay, so now using screen to GIF, I'm gonna hit recorder. Whatever's in this box is going to be uh, captured. So I'm going to go to the edges, or best of my ability to go to the edges. Okay, I'm I'm not gonna record the whole thing. I'm just doing like a little bit of it just to show you how it works. I hit record, hit play. One, two, three, go. Baby. Okay. Now, this pretty much is what I recorded. At the bottom, you can see the frames to everything. Which is really cool when you think about it, being able to see the frames of these things like this. Like uh, when I was a kid, I never thought I'd ever see the frames of Johnny Bravo. It's quite interesting how they used motion blur to blur the uh, animation to make it look fast and stuff. But anyways, um, you get rid of the preliminary frames you don't need, which would be all these dark ones, and delete. Okay, so this only goes this far. So now, using this app, I'm going to select everything. I don't think you need to select everything. I'm going to edit. Um, you can remove duplicate frames here, or you can do it manually in Mugen. I think it's home, and I think it's, no, it's image, and it's resize. So I'm going to forcibly resize these to... Um, Oh, it's locked. Okay. To this resolution. This resolution is low res uh, widescreen. So 16 by 9 for low res. And the reason why is because when you're making such a, a video into um, something to play back in Mugen, if it's huge images, it's going to make a really big file size. Uh, Eichmann Mugen is going to eat a lot of resources, and it's, it's really bad. You, you don't want to have a big uh, image video size for this kind of method. Since Mugen and Eichmann Go does not allow um, video playback, do not make these files huge. So low res, full screen, white screen, um, apply. Okay, so everything is good. And just for hell, I'm just going to hit playback. 
Okay. Okay. Oh, stop. I'm gonna file, save as. I am going to. If you wanted to make a GIF, you could hit GIF and you can make it, you know, and save it and share it, stuff like that. But I need PNG files. Uh, using this, save the blah, blah, blah. I made a folder called Johnny B, images uh, and thing, and it's going to save. Okay, all done. Open the folder. Okay, as you can see here, these are all the images that were in the other application screen to GIF. If you want this to work for Mugen 1.0 and WinMugen, you'll have to edit all these frames that you have here to uh, have the proper alpha color. Right now, none of these images are indexed. And because they're not indexed, um, you have to make sure you save the file as a 24-bit. Uh, the SFF is a 1.1 image thing now going over to um fighter factory so we recorded our video we got our image um we're gonna go to new nope i'm gonna go to new sprite okay go to the folder I'm going to add everything and, and a lot of these are from my uh other recording which had um the full intro I'm at everything it's, it's 888 frames Whatever group and uh, access you want, I like zero 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 across the board. Do not crop. It'll take a while, and Fighter Factory is going to have an aneurysm trying to figure out what the hell you're trying to do. But it's all there. And then you would save this. You go to File, Save As, and you would pick Mugen 1.1. Afterwards, you go to Animation. And you would add them. It's having the aneurysm. If your computer is not very powerful, uh, adding 800 frames instantly like this would cause it to lag and probably close and maybe destroy your computer in your house. So if you if you know your computer is not uh, the most up to date, don't. Do what I just did because my computer is like a year, two years old, and it's struggling right now trying to add these images. Or you know what? It's not. I lied. I didn't make an image. That one's on me. <laughs> okay, so now you add all the images. That was quick. And then you would have to manually mess with the time to get the right playback speed. I'm just putting one for now. So as you can see, it's like super fast forward kind of cool try three it could be three it could be two it could be four who knows what it is but what I do know is you'd have to actually play with this so once this is done once you have your SFF you can make your animation here also just to you know have all of this information and this is a lot of information next you're gonna go to your character Okay, in the character, I have, I copied the Kung Fu Man's intro file, basically, just to make it easier for storyboard stuff. Um, you save your SFF here, and if you have a sound audio file, you'd save that too. One thing to note, I optimized this intro. I got rid of duplicate frames manually, and originally this was 55 megabytes. After removing duplicate frames and extended frames, I, I got it down to 27 megabytes. So now I'm going to code the intro here. The intro is a storyboard. One thing I've never done on this channel, I've never taught how to do storyboards. And for the longest time, I didn't know how. When I made Scott Pilgrim Versus, that's when I first delved into it. Delved, dwell, delved into it? <coughs> English died. But <coughs> anyways, I digress. So for storyboards, you have your scene def, you have your sprite file, and you have a start scene. I'm only using one scene, and it's just going to play a long animation. That one scene is going to have your fade in and out time and the color. That's going to fade from black, basically, 
It's start face from black anyways. So I don't know why it's there. Your clear color is your background color behind um, all the sprites. If you index your stuff and you don't do it correctly, your clear color will show through. So it's a good way to debug your images if you're not fully sure. And then layers. Your uh, This is for all the layers in case I add layer 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever. I'm just using 0. You probably don't even need this honestly. But your animation is zero which is this position is zero zero which is top left start is right away a music will play the intro music do not loop and the end time is 190 1900 ticks i got this time from uh messing with this uh messing with this here and seeing what this number would be and then you have your animation this is it all modified to fit and uh, since the uh, Eichmann that I'm testing it with is a 4x3 resolution, I had to scale the X value for everything, all the frames, down here. You could do it in the Im image editing, but I did it here to let you know, the engine do the work with the scaling. And it's a long thingy. Okay, next, after you do that, you go to the character's def file. In the characters def file at the bottom, you'll see the arcade intro storyboard. You just put, you know, whoever's intro.def or whatever you call it. And then you go into Eichmann and test it. So now when I pick Kung Fu Man, it's going to play the Johnny Bravo intro. And there you go. Plays just before fight. the fight. It's kind of crazy when you think about it, just seeing all that in Eichmann Mugen. It's like, what the hell? But that's how you do it. It's kind of a long drawn out process, I know. But basically, I like to use screen to GIF, capture whatever footage I want, um, edit however I need size wise, and I'll save it as a bunch of PNGs. And then I will make my SFF, adding all those PNGs. Then I make my animation with whatever timing I need to make to make it work right. Then I would copy Kung Fu Man's intro uh, dev file and edit this just to have what I need. And then edit, last thing is edit the dev file to play the intro. And then that is it. Now. I think that uh, Carolyn wanted to add that intro to the character itself. And when you pick the character, instead of the intro of the characters like, you know, posing or whatever, it'll play Johnny Bravo's intro for player one or whoever Johnny Bravo is. I think that's what she wanted. And, you know, I, I'm, ag I'm against the idea purely because uh, the other characters still going to have their intro playing. You'll hear their voice and whatever they have music or anything or special effects. So it'll ruin the Johnny Bravo intro for it, the fight screen. Plus, it's going to dramatically increase Johnny Bravo's um, SFF. And uh, I don't I don't agree with unnaturally increasing the character's folder size just to have something gimmicky like that oh, I did it once before that's how I know but um yeah I would just make it a an introduction um, storyboard file and just have it play in arcade that's what I would do and speaking of that uh, this these files are located in the description below and while you're down there you can like subscribe and uh, leave a comment um, and questions you know I like the questions this one really piqued my interest because I've never been asked something like this before so I'm like, hmm, that sounds challenging. Something I've wanted to do before. And, you know, um, that that's it. That's pretty much it. So thank you all for watching. Keep them coming.
Ryan out. One to the kidney, two to the dome. That's left, right, left, right, left, right, go. Got a rollie for the brunch and a panic for the show. That's left, right, left, right, left, right, go.